Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata. In the last tutorial, I covered how to send an internal email notification via Zoho campaigns. In this tutorial, I'm going to follow up on what we covered on the last tutorial, but I'm going to show you some ways that you can set up an internal notification or other notifications through the CRM when an email campaign goes out through campaigns. Before I jump into the tutorial though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. All right, to recap what we covered last time real quick, I showed you a couple different way, ways where you could set up an internal notification to your team members based on an action item. In this case, the action would be uh, email clicked. You could also send it open or on a specific link, and then that would add them to the list in this example. And then the list, we went ahead and created a workflow, and our workflow was called all click internal notifications, and then whether they enter the list or on an email action, it would go ahead and send off a notification to the contact or lead or owner. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a couple more ways, but rather than working strictly inside of Zoho campaigns, we're gonna push this data over to the CRM where we'll have a little bit more flexibility to do other things than just send an internal email notification. So similar process, we will go ahead and create a workflow and we'll do a custom workflow. And we will call this CRM internal click notification. So, and we'll go ahead and use email action as our triggering point. So based on an email action, we can go ahead and we can use two of these um, action items down here. We can either push data to the CRM or we can go ahead and create a task. So I'm gonna cover creating a task first and then I'll go over some different ways where you can utilize the push to the CRM. As before, I, I covered this in the last tutorial, but you could choose a specific email campaign, a workflow, or any. So we won't spend any time on that. To go ahead and configure the task, all you would do is hit configure, choose your accounts, and we'll go ahead and work with the leads module this time. And we're just going to update existing contacts only. We'll say the subject would be Call it lead and penny interest. Follow up. And now you can choose the due date for the task. We'll just make it one day after the lead clicked on the link because you know it's hot. We want to get it while it's hot. And we'll say the task is not started yet. Set the priority to normal. And a brief little description. we send a little description for the task. In this case, we want to go ahead and select task owners based on either a round robin method, or if it's already got an owner, we'll go ahead and assign the task to an existing CRM account owner. In most cases, it's going to be this last one here. And we'll hit next, and then the lead source. Um, oftentimes in campaign, it's not actually lead source, it's going to be contact source. I'll map that over. And if you wanted to go ahead and add any extra fields to the CRM, you could go ahead and do that here. So we could say this was from marketing Q3 campaign. And we can go ahead and map that either to campaign sources, which is a custom field we created, or like a UTM source. So we'll go ahead and, in this case, map it to the UTM source. So that's one way to go ahead and create a task for every time you know an email action, whether it's a click or open, you then can send a task directly inside the CRM. Now, another way we can go about doing this is we can also push data to the CRM. Like the last section I just showed you, we'll go ahead and select the leads module again and update existing contacts only. And same process here, but rather than creating a task, we will go ahead and add a source um, just like we did in the last one, and we will call this marketing Q3 click. We will go ahead, I went ahead and created a single line field. So if we hop over to the CRM real quick, we go to modules and fields, and we hop over to the leads module, and we go to standard. 
See, we have some UTM information down here to capture the tracking, and I went ahead and added a single line. It's important to note that it has to be a single line in order for it to be mapped over on this field. Um, so we'll go ahead and copy this, and I'll go ahead and show you what we're going to do with this now. So we'll go ahead and save. So now every time an email is clicked, that field is going to be updated um, and push it, pushes it over to this campaign notification field. Now what we can do with that is we can go ahead and go back to our settings here and we can go ahead and create a workflow rule and we'll create a new rule based on the leads module, journal, notification for marketing click. Create this new rule and then we'll base it on record action create our edit since we're using the same field maybe the field is going to be edited um, with a different one so we'll go ahead and hit next and we'll go ahead and use that campaign notification is and i'll copy in what we defined we'll go ahead and hit next and now here's where I was going to show you. Most of you probably already know how workflows work, but for those that you of you that don't, um, you just have a lot more options within the CRM. Whether you want to update another field based on this action, um, you can create a task from directly in here, add a meeting, you can schedule a call, and you know create a web hook. You can make an internal notification via click. You know maybe you have a channel when leads click on an email that you want to notify maybe everyone on a sales team that, you know, so-and-so has clicked on an email um, and then whoever is available or send out an email, kind of like I showed you the internal notification process inside of uh, Zoho campaigns. These are the two different ways that you can push data to the CRM to also kind of accomplish what we accomplished last time, but a little bit more if you wanted to get more granular on the different options you had uh, inside CRM. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. You now know all of the different ways to set up, whether it's a task, internal email notification, workflow rule, click notification, you name it, when an email is clicked or open inside the Zoho campaigns. We hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below, and we'll catch you on the next tip.